Now, the reason that data is important is we can use it to investigate whether there's an outbreak going on or transmission of the virus from, from person to person. But we can also track the way that the virus evolves and changes over time, some of which may have implications for human health, for example, in the severity of the disease or in efficacy of vaccination. Mutations in the virus genome occur as a natural process. They occur all the time. A virus will accumulate around two mutations in its genome uh, around every month. And the vast majority of these mutations have no apparent effect on the virus at all. But a very small minority are likely to change the way that the virus behaves. It could change the ability to infect or transmit between people. It could change, uh, lead to a change in disease severity or it could change the way that the virus interacts with the immune system of humans. And that includes the response generated by a vaccine. This virus knows no boundaries. So to have a study across the four nations of the United Kingdom is really important to be able to understand the spread of the virus. But more than that, we really need to extend that beyond our, beyond our borders. We know by looking at the, at the genomes uh, uh, potentially uh, where the virus has been introduced from. So in a study uh, early on uh, in the first wave, we looked at the genomes and we, we uh, estimated that the majority of the, the strains, of the, 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 the virus had been introduced from European countries around us and almost none had been introduced from uh, South and East, East Asia. So that tells us that this has been a European uh, pandemic and, and that's very important for collaboration with uh, partner countries. Being able to make our data available to uh, as wide an audience as possible has numerous uses. Now, one, one possibility is that our data will be used by immunologists who are understanding the immune response to COVID-19. Now that's important because some of the mutations that could arise in the virus uh, might be associated with alterations in the way uh, that the virus interacts with uh, the immun immunology response from, from a vaccine. And so getting our data out there could really help in the uh, vaccine rollout program. And we're doing this to better understand the spread of the virus and to understand how the virus is evolving. Now we work across the United Kingdom. We have 16 sequencing sites in four public health agencies and in many universities. And so far we've generated over 140,000 genomes from people with COVID-19. So roughly that's around 10% of people from across the UK who have been diagnosed with um, a, a molecular test, a PCR test. It's been a busy year. And the thing that I'm most proud of is that we developed COG UK and the sequencing network in very quick time. And I'm really proud and most grateful to the 300 or more people that work in this consortium. This is an opportunity to thank Health Data Research UK colleagues who have been instrumental in helping us understand data flow and data capture and linking genome data uh, with clinical and epidemiological information on the people from which the virus has been identified.